Hi, my name is Dara and this is called Cloud and DevOps Ask Me Anything. Another piece of question I got on the survey I put out was this. Between PHP and Python, which would you prefer in building a great competence in the DevOps ecosystem? Whew, that is a nice question, uh, but the fact of the matter is to be a great DevOps engineer, to be a great DevOps person, to be a good per DevOps person, the language you write is not a factor in determining how good you would be or how competent you would be. What matters is adopting the DevOps culture and principles. Remember, DevOps is the union of people, processes and products to continue to deliver value to end users. So whatever language you use, whatever platform you use, Azure DevOps, Bitbucket, GitLab, Jira, Atesham, whatever combination of tools you use, whatever languages you use, it doesn't matter. What matters is you using the culture, you know, adopting the culture, you know, continuous delivery, continuous integration, continuous testing, security, feedback systems, whatever language you write, whatever platform you choose, it doesn't define how competent you would be. What defines how competent you would be is how deeply embedded in the culture you are and how much you apply it from day to day in your work style and your delivery of product and values to your end users but but some of the devops tools that are being used today some of them are written in python well i haven't seen one written in php ever if that sort of answers your question but ideally no language should define how competent you are in you no know, implementing or adopting devops culture in the way you write code or how you you know deploy your applications the language does not matter every language is valid for their own use cases but if you're looking if your question is as regards tooling if you want to be writing devops tools probably you might be better get towards using python other than php but of course there are many other great languages there's go there's c sharp there's java there's a whole lot of them out there so don't limit yourself to the language but of course what you want to do is whatever language you know whatever language you write today you want to use that to increase your adoption of the culture of devops because what essentially matters is you adopting the culture of devops now with that and said I hope, well, of course, I answered the question. But if you would like to ask further questions, remember the link will be showing on your screen right now. I'll also put it as a pinned comment and also in the video description so you can ask further questions and I will try to get answers back to you well as soon as possible if you've derived value for this video remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my youtube channel so you do not miss any further videos coming from me in the future until i come your way again with yet another video on cloud code and devops i say stay safe and goodbye